You're listening to the Dibbly Dobbly Podcast. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to make sure you get the latest episodes of the podcast. Be sure to like and share our Facebook page as well. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Dibbly Dobbly Podcast. On today's episode of the podcast, we review the T20 International Series between India and England. It's the Dibbly Dobbly Podcast, and let's get started. Let's have a look at the results from the T20 International Series between India and England. The first T20 International, England won by eight wickets. Man of the match was Jofra Archer. The second T20 International, India won by seven wickets. Ishan Krishna was man of the match. The third T20 International, England won by eight wickets. Josh Butler was man of the match. The fourth T20 International, England won by eight runs. Man of the match was Surikuma Yadav. And the fifth and final T20 International, India won by 36 runs. Bereshwar Kumar was man of the match. India won the series 3-2. And Virat Kohli was named man of the series. Let's have a look at how India performed in this T20 international series with both bat and ball. Let's start with their batsman. Kohli, 231 runs. Ayer, 121. Pant, 102. Robert Sharma, 91. Surukuma Yadav, 89. Hardik Pandya, 86. Krishna, 60. And Kaya Rahul, 15. Let's have a look at their bowlers. Takor took 8 wickets, 4 wickets for Kuma and Sundar, 3 wickets for Hardik Pandya and Chahal, 2 wickets for Chaha, a wicket for Natarajan, and no wickets for Axel Patel. That's how India performed in this series. India's T20 series was a bit inconsistent. The batting and bowling at times was a bit up and down, but they managed to get it together and win this series. We saw from India in this series that they have tried some new players like Ishan Krishna and Surukumar Yadav who have impressed after making their T20 debuts for India. Both of them making 50s and contributing well to this Indian team. Both of them could be in India's T20 World Cup squad. But what we do know is that they are going to be very good players for India. Virat Kohli in the last game put himself to open the batting and we could see a lot more of that from Kohli to put himself up to open if the team needs him to do so. I think it's a great move from Curley to have himself open the batting because as we saw in this last game, other batsmen can bat around him and attack the bowlers which allows Curley to be that backbone of the batting order. India can set big totals or chase down totals. Don't rule out seeing that from India. As well as having that option of Curley opening the batting, they can always go back to either Kaya Rahul or Shikha Dawan to open with Rohit Sharma or someone else if they wanted to. But as we saw from India and England in this series, both teams experimented and tried different things to improve their T20 game as a team before that T20 World Cup, which is great, and India are giving themselves those options for that T20 World Cup. India's bowlers had an up and down series. As we saw in this last game, they did very well to defend India's score of 224. Kumar, Takor, Sundar, Chahal, Hardik Pandya, Chaha, Patel and Natarajan are all good T20 bowlers and showed that in this series. India had no Jasper Boomer in this series and it was great to see other bowlers take the responsibility upon themselves to get the job done without Boomer in the side. All of them have many different skills in terms of their changes in pace and different variations they bowl, which makes them a versatile bowling attack in Indian conditions. They are going to test every team during that T20 World Cup in India and it could be a handful. India will have some tough questions to ask themselves ahead of that T20 World Cup in terms of their batsmen and bowlers. The problem that India face is they have lots of talent and players to choose from. And to cut that down into a, t- into a squad for the T20 World Cup is going to be very hard. Even the players who didn't play in this series, like Jasper Bumrah, Mohamed Shami and Ravinda Jadeja, who would easily come into India's T20 team. So tough decisions will have to be made by the Indian selectors ahead of that T20 World Cup. But that can be a good thing because the more competition for spots within the squad, the better place the team will be for that T20 World Cup. And hopefully that equals to success and potentially winning the T20 World Cup. Overall, a great performance from India. A few things to improve on, but they look really good for the T20 World Cup and will be hard to beat at home. Let's have a look at how England performed in this T20 international series with both bat and ball. Let's start with their batsmen. Butler, 172 runs. Milan, 148. 
Roy 144, Bearstra 118, Stokes 84, and Morgan 33. Let's have a look at their bowlers. Archer took seven wickets, Wood took five, four wickets each for Rashid and Jordan, three wickets to Stokes, two wickets to Sam Curran, and no wickets for Tom Curran. That's how England performed in this series. England will be disappointed to lose this series 3-2. England tried some different combinations throughout this series, but they weren't able to get the job done. Like India, they too were a bit inconsistent with both bat and ball. England have questions to answer in terms of their batting. England won the toss on many occasions during this series and chose to bowl first rather than bat first. They won two and lost two while batting second, and they lost one game while batting first. England liked to chase and back their batsmen to chase the runs down. But it would have been great if England batted first more often in this series to change things up a bit and do something out of the team's comfort zone. Ben Stokes didn't have much of an impact in this series with the bat. He batted at number 5 and number 6 in this series, and England don't know what his role is within this team. Also, I think he's been wasted down that low in the order. He could open the batting with Jason Roy or Josh Butler, and that could be his role in this England T20 team. To me at the moment, Stokes doesn't know what his role is in the team. So if England gave him a role, then we could see the best of Stokes in T20 cricket, because at the moment we haven't seen that in this series, and we know he can be very good. The other question is, does Joe Root return to this side? Root has a very good record in T20s and could be handy for England in this T20 team and be that batsman who everyone bats around and he can control the innings like Virat Kohli does with India. But who do you take out of the team? Darwin Milan has done well in T20s, becoming the number one ranked batsman in the world. Johnny Bairstra has been struggling of late, so does he get into that England team for that T20 World Cup? So there are a lot of questions for the England selectors to answer before that T20 World Cup. The bowlers were inconsistent in this series, just like India's bowlers. England's bowlers bowled well in games 1 and 3, while in games 2, 4 and 5, it didn't quite go to plan. That happens in T20 cricket. You can go for a lot of runs one game, and the next game you can do really well. But they have great bowlers who can get the job done for England. Overall, a disappointing result for England, but there are a class side great players, and should learn a lot from this series, moving forward as a team and ahead of that T20 World Cup. My thoughts on the series, it was an inconsistent series from both teams. Both sides will have to fix that consistency ahead of that T20 World Cup. India, after winning this series, has shown us they are going to be hard to beat for that T20 World Cup. England also showed us they are going to be hard to beat as well. But both teams would have learnt a lot from this series about themselves as individuals and as a team ahead of that T20 World Cup. Both teams will be looking to improve and get better as a team and should be confident in their chances of winning that T20 World Cup later this year in India. Well, that's the end of the innings to close the play for this episode of the podcast. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell to get the latest episodes of the podcast and like and share our Facebook page. Until next time, keep safe and bye for now.